In this Photoshop tutorial, I'm going to show you how I set up my photos to print them out here in Photoshop. So if I want to set up a photo, like a standard size, now depending on where you are in the world, this might change. For me, I'm going to use an example of a 5 by 7 vertical photo. And I'm going to set this up so it's high quality, and when I bring my image in, I could either save it out and print it, or even just, a lot of times, I'll just print it from Photoshop. Now I'm gonna to go to new file for starters. And in this new file, I'm gonna make sure my setup is in inches. And then I'm gonna say, okay, I want five inches wide and I want seven inches tall. And then the most important part is I need 300 pixels per inch. I want that really high quality resolution. Now a lot of times I don't even pay any attention to this here because a lot of times I have digital imagery coming in anyway and it's just RGB, CMYK, really doesn't matter. But if you're doing this to print at a printer, they're gonna ask for CMYK, like an, uh, an outside printer, not necessarily your printer at home. I'm just gonna keep mine at RGB. It doesn't really bother me that it's not in CMYK. Now from here, I'm just gonna hit create. So here we go, we have this five by seven piece. And what I would do now is find my image. So I'm gonna to go to my downloads, and then I think I have an image right here that I can click and drag in and it's going to bring this image in, and it's gonna bring this image in until it hits either the top edges or the side edges. In this case, the image is a little bit taller than these dimensions, these five by seven dimensions, but that's okay because I can resize this a little bit just by clicking on a corner and dragging up and down. Now, if your image begins to skew, then you're gonna to wanna to hold shift or not hold shift, depending on your settings. Photoshop has changed this. Mine is actually not holding shift. However, another thing you can do is instead of just clicking and dragging up in one direction, you can actually hold the Option key if you're on Mac or hold the Alt key if you're on Windows, and you can scale it up from the center out. You see that difference? So what I'm going to do is scale it up so that it just goes to the edges like that. And then once I'm ready with this photo, I'm going to press the Return key. Now what we have here on the right-hand side is a Layers panel, and in this Layers panel we have our photo. We also have just a white background. The background doesn't really matter as much because the photo is going to cover it. But with this photo, if we press the shortcut key Command or Control T, that's called Transform, uh, transform or Free Transform Tool. Now what that does is it kind of goes back to how it looked when we pulled the photo in and it allows us to transform it up and down. So you can use this Free Transform Tool to make your photo bigger or smaller and then you can even click and move the photo around to line it up in just the way that you want for your composition here. So sometimes if you're trying to fit some people in here, like for instance our family photos, I try to fit so that we would fit into the frame a little bit better than maybe what the photo itself actually is. Because of the size of the photo, you have some room to play around with it, especially for me if this is a 5x7 photo. Now I'm going to press the return key, same as before, or you can click on this check mark up here to kind of commit any changes that you make. Now, I know shortcut keys, if you're new to Photoshop, that might be tough. So that is actually in the Edit dropdown, down to Free Transform. So as long as you have your layer selected, the Photo layer over there, you can hit this Free Transform button to do the same thing. But that's one of the most popular shortcut keys in Photoshop, Command-T or Control-T if you're on Windows. Now, what do we do from here? Well, we can save this out. So you could save this out as come down here to save as in the file drop down and then we could save it as a photoshop pdf so you could send it to a printer or you could print it yourself as a pdf or if you click save a copy it's actually going to allow you to save it as a jpeg or tiff or png image any anything like that although png is not one i would use to print i might print a jpeg though so you could save it out as a jpeg as well in the highest quality that it comes in, which is the five by seven by 300, or five by seven at 300 DPI. Now, you can do that, or a lot of times I just get this thing sized in here. I could save this Photoshop document if I ever wanna come back to it, but I could also just simply go to file down to print somewhere, I believe, yeah, at the bottom here. So we could just go print, which is command P or control P. That's a pretty universal shortcut key. And then I could see here, depending on uh, my print settings, you go into your print settings, you know, change your paper, change your printer, all that kind of stuff. 
But then if I scroll down a little bit, one of the most important spots would be the scale. And so sometimes scale to fit media is checkmarked, which means it's gonna print the size of your page. Well, I'm printing a five by seven photo. I don't want that to be checkmarked. What I want is this scale to be set at 100%, which means it's five by seven. I know this says 6.999, that's fine, it's okay. Uh, it's As long as this says 100%, I'm gonna get a five by seven photo out of this that's gonna fit in a picture frame. So that is how you would print and then just simply hit print. I do this all the time. And that will come out as a high quality photo because our image size, if we go up to image, down to image size, when we started, we set it up in inches at five by seven at 300 pixels per inch. So you could do the same thing. You could open up multiple files. You could do an eight by 10, a four by six, or whatever size you want as long as you set it to 300 pixels per inch, that'll be the high quality photo ready for print. And that's how you can print photos here in Photoshop.